All right, I'm, uh, I'm Ron Rickwald from uh, San Diego, California, and I'm uh, flying a full-scale U.S. Navy Standard Missile II. Uh, it's going up on an O5500 Redneck Tech propellant, uh, expecting about uh, 12,000 feet. And it's a uh, dual deployment, uh, a pretty large uh, um, apogee shoot, uh, six feet and a 28 foot main. Uh, it's a 220 pound rocket at takeoff, so it should be about a 175 pounds coming down. You, so. you flew this at LDRS 25, right? Yeah, I flew it at LDRS 24, 25. It wasn't a great flight. Uh, I recovered it all, but it uh, was about three three miles downrange. It took off like a missile. Okay, so what'd you do different this time? A little bit bigger fins, uh, some more nose weight, uh, and I uh, also have uh, straightened out the the overing grooves in the nozzle weren't cut uh, deep enough, so that was all fixed. So expecting a successful flight. All right, well, good luck. It's a beautiful rocket. Thanks. Well, Loki? Loki, yeah. I'll find Jeff and throw it at him. <laughs> that was, it's just such a clean break right at the end of the Right at the end of the threads. Of the threads. Yeah. So, you know, this is how the motor was retained. The rest of it just shot up through it, pushed everything out. Yeah. So you're going to rebuild it? No, this is it. <laughs> We're done, huh? We're done. No more standard missiles. Oh, that's a shame. It's a shame. It's actually not in such bad shape, you know? Yeah, yeah I mean, you got a, you got a spot right here. I, yeah, I just need one more tube, yeah. uh, Curtis. Yeah. Hey, Curtis, just need one more tube. <laughs> you hear me, yeah. tube? It was cool. <laughs> yeah, it was.